Hey y'all. Today I'm going to be talking about my luxury wish list for 2023. It's a little bit um, late, I guess, this year. Well, end of February is that late. So I got 10 more months to go. So if you want to know about what I'm thinking about for this year, stick around. Hey all welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about treating yourself to build a luxury, whether that be your cup of coffee, your favorite fragrances, your high-end skincare, bougie candles, or your favorite designer handbags or accessories, any of those lovely things that you like to treat yourself with because you deserve it. You really, really do. So this one, I typically do this every year, but I was having a really hard time with coming up with my wish list for 2023. Um, I'm doing a lot of kind of, you know, searching and, and thinking since um, a lot of my um, habits, lifestyle has changed over the last couple of years. Um, now that I'm, I'm working from home pretty much full time, um, I don't have to carry a whole lot when I leave the house. So a lot of the bags that I have, um, I, I, I have all of the, you know, large you know, totes and things that I need. So I really had to think about what's missing in my collection. And I tend to gravitate towards large bags anyway, because being a plush size gal, I just have always felt like, being large you should have a large bag to match your your frame and it's taken this last year or so to become comfortable with carrying you know a pochette, pochette accessoire or um, my Felici even um, I just got a YSL uh, clutch that I'm converting into a crossbody bag um, I did a wallet on chain that kind of thing so that's been a, a new um kind of realm this last year that i've delved into so reassessing kind of what is missing from my collection what i've really been wanting um it took me a little while to come up with this list so um what i've pretty much come down to is that there's about, about five um brands that I really want to focus on this year and some of them I don't have anything from or if I do I have maybe one item um, maybe just an SLG or something really small um, so I really want to you know really dive you know dive deep into them um, the best I can. So um, the first brand and this is pretty much inspired by um, my latest unboxing my um, Cassandra clutch that um, I just got in um, that violet, that powdery violet color. Um, it's, oh, it's just fabulous. And honestly, the treatment that I had in that boutique, they, they were just so kind and over the top with um, providing help and just a, a really lovely experience. I mean, it was, it was just kind of night and day, the experience between um, going into the boutique at LV um, that day and then walking over across the hall to Saint Laurent and how um, they were treating me and even though I walked out that day with my items from LV and I had to order my Saint Laurent item and have it shipped to me um, it was just a really positive experience and to this day I'm still getting communication from that sales associate from the brand itself aftercare emails um, just night and day kind of experiences so not just sales emails but you know actual like hey did you know this about our brand or did you know this did you did you need any help with what have you so um really liking that um extra just kind of care to service so with that um saint laurent i've really been eyeing um that college bag um, in the medium. I've seen a lot of YouTubers uh, lately with that bag. Uh, I think it's Melinda has a couple of them or did. And then um, I think she has also got a Nikki and the Nikki was also kind of intriguing as well. So I'd like to get my hands on one or both of those. Um, not really picky about the color. 
I may or may not go full on um, brand new in the boutique. I'm always after a deal. So if I find one online at a reseller, I will go that route. But um, the price points aren't too bad. I think they're in the mid, um, like 2,500 ish. Um, last I checked, of course, there's probably gonna be a price increase or God knows what um, this year. So they'll probably go up higher. So I'm comfortable that price range for the leather, the quality, the service, I would, I could go full price on them. But um, like I said, always looking for a good, good deal. So I'll look online and I'll put a couple of pictures of the, the ones that I found are um, quite cute in my opinion. So definitely St. Laurent. Um, and not just those two bags are ones that I'm really eyeing for full size bags, but for sure, I'm going to go back and get another one of these clutches. Um, I either want the, the black with silver or the black with, um, the black hardware. So that was something I was considering when I was in the store the first time, but, um, that purple just, <laughs> could just eat it all up. It was the best. So picked it up, <laughs> had to have it. Um, next, um, the Fendi brand. Now I did pick up a couple items last year. Um, I got myself a peekaboo, uh, from Rebag and that one is a, it's a really nice bag, very lovely construction. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, it's just in a color that I normally don't carry a whole lot of, which is this like deep burgundy kind of color, it's close to purple, but it was, it's more of a burgundy. So definitely giving me the fall winter vibes. So, um, I'd like to get another item. I, I'm not opposed to a peekaboo, although I'd only do pre-loved with that, but I'm actually really, um, getting the baguette bug everyone seems to have one it just it's the trendy bag of the of the last um year or so and um i just keep seeing it everywhere and i'm really obsessed with the napa um, embossed leather bag um, version of it it just looks so soft and squishy and beautiful and i love the black but there's i mean there's a hot pink one that's gorgeous um there's even a light pink and I'm, I'm not one to go for light you'll usual color leathers like that but they're just they all look so nice so and there's a white even so one of them who knows I don't know which one but one of one of those baguettes I think are gonna have to come into the the collection this year so yeah gonna, gonna have to have one that just it's not a very big bag but I, I just just like it. Next brand I want to delve into is um, Loewe. And they are going to have, and they might have already by the time this video goes up, have a collaboration with Studio Ghibli. And it's the, um, I believe, last iteration of this collaboration that they usually do um, with them. And it's going to be for Howl's Moving Castle. And I really want one of the puzzle bags from that collection. Um, with calcifer on it. Um, they have a ton of SLG. I mean, just, uh, there's tons of things from this um, collaboration that I love. Um, they've done previous uh, uh, collaborations with that um, movie studio and I didn't know anything about them at the time. So completely missed out and I would just love to have one of these pieces. Um, if for whatever reason one of those doesn't work out, then um, I, the puzzle bag is just really, I guess everybody's on that train too. It's kind of like the baguette. It's, if you don't have a baguette, you're getting the puzzle bag. Um, I do like the tone on tone, that black on black. Minx for All just got that one. That one's really nice. Um, totally up my alley. Um, really any of the colors are really nice looking. Um, a gray or a black would probably be more than likely what I'm, I'm looking for. A mini might do, probably a small. Um, although I, I just watched a video from, I think it was Gwenny, styled by Gwenny, that um, said the opening isn't too um, restrictive or constrictive um, to get in and out of, but I have an iPhone Pro Max and I had gotten this other bag last year that 
the dimensions set so it'll be no problem to have the phone get in and it, it's a pain in the, to get my phone in and out of that one so I'd have to try it out so if I can get the phone in and out of that one I'd go mini but more than likely a small and like I said black or gray or if god if I if the fortunes fall on me one of those um calcifer bags I would just love it fabulous um yeah that's everything from Louie yeah pretty much I think the puzzle bag is the only one that really interests me there's another one Amazona I think is another one that's uh, it's, it's okay it just reminds me a little bit of like a an Alma kind of shape and it's okay it, I, we'll see we'll see but I think it's it's the puzzle bag for this year uh another brand and I don't think I have anything from I have makeup from Givenchy but I don't have any any items from Givenchy I'm looking up at my shelves up here um as I talk um yeah I don't have anything from them so I think what I'd like to do is to get and I know this is not in fashion and no one's really buying it but I've always really been a fan of the Antigona and um not the slouchy one but the the structured one the one that looks kind of like a speedy I I've been eyeing them on the pre-love market for years now and I think this is probably going to be the the year that I finally um finally do it if I can't find one in the condition I want because I want a pretty decent condition um bag I'm that Pandora also it looks very interesting it just kind of throws me off with the the configuration the shape of it it's an interesting style but um yeah the Antigona is definitely more my aesthetic I guess is the word I'm like aesthetic <laughs> I can't talk aesthetic 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 yes that's just you know the speedy that type of um doctor satchel whatever you want to call it style has just always been um something i've i've really you know liked so definitely that um yeah i think that's that's it and then last on my list and this is not a new brand to me but um louis vuitton I, I want to get something that I don't have. Um, I'd like to start to do some traveling this year. So I'd like to get a keep all, um, the men's line, uh, probably going to be, um, either the eclipse or, um, the monogram with the, I believe it's the Makassar is what they call it. The, um, the dark trim um, handles. I just really don't like Bichetta. It. I was looking up at my Noe and my Alma and just the condition the Bichetta's in and I just can't, I don't want to deal with any of the, the trouble with it. So um, yeah, I if I buy it new from the store, I'm, I'm definitely going to go that route. It, oh, something from the men's line. Although I have been considering doing the um, pre-loved and even um, the Japanese resellers on eBay. There's some really decent deals on eBay. So still a little hesitant because you, you know, never know, but I'm hearing that they're, you know, with the, the laws of um, Japan, um, it's, it's pretty safe, but still really really hesitant the deals are seem way too good to be true and it's probably the case but you know just want to be want to be careful on that but as far as um new boutique items there have been a few things that have seemed interesting i am um sort of intrigued by the Diane. I like the um, strap that comes with it. It's really casual. It's just a mix, you know, of, of casual and, and, and formal. 
um, the corset is definitely tempting me as well. And then um, the the last the last thing I'm considering is um, something from the Lock Me line. I I, I kind of was veering towards the twist. I just kind of like the the look of the logo um, on there, but. Well, I like Epi and I have several Epi pieces. It just, I, I do prefer the smooth leather, the um, leathers that, you know, the um, Empreinte and the Lock, um, the Lock Me have on there. So there are a couple of smaller crossbody Lock Me pieces that are intriguing. So I'll put them up on the screen and that might be where I, I veer towards this year. Although if I find something on the resale market um, it, in the Epi Twist that, that works, I will pick one of those up instead. But I think it's going to be um, a Lock Me bag this year. And those are pretty much where I'm gonna spend my time focusing i mean I, there are shoes there are perfumes there are earrings there's all sorts of other um, luxury items that i have on my um radar as well i didn't think that I, I thought i'd maybe keep this pretty much just to handbags and maybe i'll do another video with um those other items because i've got definitely a, a few different shoes i'm looking into a couple of fragrances and some jewelry from a few different houses that um i definitely want to pick up so yeah i'll talk about that another another quick little chat but these are the ones that i am gonna focus on and manifest i'm gonna manifest these handbags to come into my life this year <laughs> let's see what happens we'll we'll check back at the end of the year and see how many I've checked off the list. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Take care of all. Bye.